Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Clear the clutter, personalizing your web experience with JAWS. Now let's talk a little bit about Flexible Web. Flexible Web is a feature that allows you to hide an element so that you don't encounter it when you're navigating, or you can also start reading in a certain element. So I'm gonna start out by showing you how to hide an element. Now, when we think of the, the types of things that we might like to hide, I, one of the things that comes to mind for me anyway is, is banners. Some web pages have these banners and you're just trying to navigate through the information. And you know, you might be able to navigate through it just fine, but it's just a little bit cluttered. It's a little busy. There's a lot going on. Now, some banners are okay. I'm on a fitness blog that actually has a banner here that's in a, in a region. And this banner is fine. It actually contains some, you know, useful information. But let's just say that I go to this website frequently and I, I don't really need this information. I want to hide it. So I'm going to press the letter R to navigate to that region. Same page link, skip the content banner. All right, it said skip to content and we heard the word banner. So I'm on the element that I wanna hide and I'm gonna activate flexible web by pressing insert space. So this is a layered command and I'm gonna follow that by pressing X, X-ray. Space, flexible web dialogue. What would you like to do? Create a new customization radio button checked one of five. Now here it says one of five. I don't actually have other options here because I don't have any rules created. So I do want to create a new customization. So I'm going to tab to navigate to through this dialog. Enable flexible web checkbox checked. Alt plus F. Okay, we'll leave that checked. Next button. Alt plus N. And we'll go to the next button. Space. How would you like to customize the page? Hide an element radio button checked. One of two. Alt plus H. So here we have two options. We have hide an element and we have. Start reading at an element radio button checked. Two of two. And I just press down arrow to get to that. We want it. We want to go to hide an element. Hide an element. Radio button checked. Okay, I'm gonna tab. Back button. Alt. Next button. Alt plus N. Press space on next. Space. Which of the following elements would you like to customize? List box. Link. Skip the content. One of. Now here's where this gets a bit tricky because I was on a link that said skip to content. Now link is an element, but if we down arrow. Banner region. Two of two. Because that link was in a banner region, so I want to actually hide the whole banner region. So I press down arrow to select that. I'll tab. Back button. Alt. Next button. Alt plus N. Choose next. Space. Select the customization list box. Hide banner region one from the top with class equals. So here you get some options. Now, most of the time, this first one is what I, I use just because it's wanting to know if I want to hide this from the top of the page. We have some other choices here about hiding all banner regions and things like that. But right now, this is what I want to do for this particular page. Back button. Finish button. And we're going to go to finish. Space. Now, and I do want to point out here too that when I do this for a web page, it doesn't matter what browser I'm using. If I flip over here to Edge or another browser, these rules are going to take effect. Now, this right here is a temporary rule. I can turn this into a permanent rule if I want to. We're going to talk about how to do that. But let's go to the top here. Fitness 101. And if I press the letter R, main region, we get to the main region, which was previously the second region on the page. So it hid all that information, uh, no, the previous information, which is what I wanted it to do. So if you have a banner or some other elements, some graphics, some images, things that are just getting in the way and making navigation more difficult, you might consider hiding them. Now let's go back in here to flexible web, insert space. X space flexible web dialogue and we have create a new rule here we're going to down arrow retry hide banner region one from the top with class equals now this is asking us if we want to retry what that would do is it would allow us to choose different options a new hide banner region one from the top we could undo it save temporary customizations as a rule and we could save temporary customization as a rule and if we wanted to do that we tab to next then it's going to ask us if we want to name the rule and let's just do that really quickly because I want to show you how to get rid of it as well. Enable next button, alt space, rule name. I'm going to type hide banner. H-I-D-E-B-A-N-E-R. I'm going to go to next. List view, hide banner region. How would you like this rule to apply? Combo box to the current site. Here we have some choices. How would you like this rule to apply? By default, we're on current site. Globally. One. We have globally, current site. To the, to the current page. And current page. I'm going to leave it on site. To the back button, finish button, space. So now we've created a rule. If we go back to Flexible Web, space, insert space, X, 
Flexible web dialog. And now if we down arrow. Viewer change where rules apply radio button checked. Now we have two options, create a new rule or viewer change or rules apply. So I'm going to go ahead and tab here. Enable flexible web finish button. And I'm going to choose finish. It's not actually going to finish it, but let's go ahead and um, choose finish. Space viewer change where rules are applied dialog. Use the tree view below to select the area of the web where you want to make changes. The tree is organized into three areas, global, specific sites, and specific pages. All right. So here we have even more options. What I want to focus on, I'm going to tab to list view, hide banner, global, not checked, one of one. Right there, what lists the name of the rule. It's not checked, but that's okay because I want to show you how to use a context menu here to either delete it, rename it, or get properties on that role. So we can press Shift F10 or the Applications key. Applications, JAWS context menu, D, delete. D. So we have delete. Rename. Uh, rename. Properties, dot, 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 D. And properties. I'm just navigating to those with my arrow keys. Delete, D. So I could hit enter here on delete. Enter, leaving menus, list view, hide banner, global, not checked, one of one. It's asking me here if I'm sure I, I want to delete this. I can tab to yes. No button, oh, yes button, space, list view, zero item. And now we don't have any rules and we can tab to close. Close button, all oh, space. And there we go. Fitness. So I just wanted to show you how that worked. Let's say we want to start reading at a particular element. There is a heading here that's called trending. Fit I'm going to find it with the letter H. Fitness heading like what you are trending now heading level three. Trending now. So let's say I open this page every day and I want to start reading right at that heading every time. Or maybe it's, you know, current news, um, you know, any anything like that that you want to start reading at every time the page loads. Let's press insert space. Space. X. Flexible web dialog. And we're going to create a new rule. We're going to tab to next. The ne next button. All space. How would you like to customize the page? I'm going to down arrow. Start reading at an element. Radio button checked. Start reading at an element. I'm going to tab. Back button. Next button. Space. Which of the following elements would you like to customize? List box. Heading level three trending now. One. That is exactly what I want to customize. So I'm going to tab to next. Back. Next button. Space. Select a customization list box. And again, I can customize this, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave it where it is because it's going to start you know, from the top and it's going to find that heading and it's going to go there. Back finish button. Space. All right, so now when I load this page, and I'm going to go back to the top, Fitness 100. and I'm going to press F5 to refresh. F5, Fitness 101 Wellness Blog by Life Extension. Fitness 101 Wellness Blog by Life Extension. Page has eight regions, six headings, and 52 links. There are one smart glance highlights on this page. Heading level three, trending now, trending. And it went right there. So not only did it read that, that's where it is. If I use a say line with insert up arrow. Heading level three, trending now. And that's where I am. And from here, I could check out all of the posts that are trending now. And that is how you use Flexible Web to either hide an element or start reading at an element. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.